The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Okay. Uh, Pep, good afternoon. Um, starting, if we may, with the news that the FA want to hear more from you about the exchange with Nathan Redmond on Wednesday night. Now, both yourself and the player have confirmed it was a positive exchange. But looking back, do you have any regrets over the way that you spoke to him? Yes. And what exactly do you regret about it? I did it. Uh, it happened in Munich when I was with uh, my old player, lovely player Joshua Kimmich. I did it the same in, in, in Dortmund and I had regret that after the game and the same now. So I cannot control myself. I have to do that but I could not and hopefully I improve. But what I said is what I said. What uh, Nathan Redmond said in uh, his statement yesterday. So so more than, than I admire him like a football player. I, just say thank you for his comments. Um, but if the, F, the FA won my statement again, I'm able to explain whatever he wants. But uh, if they don't believe me, I don't know what we are doing here. So I don't know what you make press conferences. Because when they give me an opinion, I give an opinion. In the fact you can be agree or not about how was the game or whatever, but if you explain me what happened, and I say what happened, and the people don't believe me, better we'll cancel our press conference and and just make a games. But if they wanna listen to me, I will do it. So they can do that with me, with Nathal, and with the Sun. So it's not a problem. Do you feel it was in any way disrespectful to Mauricio Pellegrino, the way you spoke to one of his players? Listen, I played in my career against uh, millions of managers in different ways they play. I never judge, I will never judge the way my opponents want to play against my teams because I don't like the other team managers judge what I want to do, want to do. So, because I am pretty sure of that, because I know when Pellegrini wants to win the game, definitely. Only I said my after my press conference is because we didn't win, maybe more clear or comfortable because it's so complicated to defend when ten players defend in the box, and uh, because they believe that is the best way. And I face this kind of teams a lot of times in my career. And when I'm thinking about what I have to do to beat them in that way, because other teams are high pressing, the other teams waiting for that. And I said of that because I understand, for example, in the last minutes, what Suarez is two minutes on the on the on the field wasting time because I did it too. And I said to my players in the last moments, okay, you have to finish the game. And I understand completely to attack with the set pieces or something like this or long balls because I am. So they, they know the teams better than, than ever. Only I said to Nathal, so my admiration like a player is like this, and I said to encourage him, you have to tag, you have to tag because you have quality to do that. But of course, it was my teammate, we were friends, and, and in Barcelona with Mauricio, and never, never in my career in press conference on the pitch and off the pitch, I was really respectful about what they believe to do to beat me. But it's the same I do to beat them. The same. I believe in a way, and I know because a little bit can be more surprised or not, because Southampton, I saw many games before our game, he can play the way he played, but he can play completely different. He's a team whom one of the most chances created in the Premier League that season is the guy, the team who most post did until now, I think eight or nine. So as a team can do both things, and I expect, so they are going to attack, they are going to play because they have an amazing players. So all of them, Real Rumez, Van Dijk, mm -hmm. and uh, Hot, and uh, Suarez, Bertrand, uh, Long, uh, Redmond, uh, Buffal, all of them have quality. And I said to the players, be careful because that team is a real good team. Even now, I think, the same I thought before, 
It's a team have one for me the best teams in the Premier League in the terms of the quality they have. But if you decide to play like this, I'm not the right guy to say I'm right or not. I just encourage you because my emotion was there, because how I celebrated, because I scored a goal in 95 minutes. We can keep our victory streak uh, over in that moment. I said to Uriola, I said the same. I said the same with Lemina and I said the same with Redmond. So that is what it is. The player that created that moment of quality, Raheem Sterling, how important and why is it so important that you're able to sort his long-term future and tie him down to another contract here at Manchester City? No, it's not my business right now, so it's for Chiki. Uh, uh, so I, I think I was clear, we were clear like a club in the beginning of the season when Arsenal maybe want him and we said absolutely not. That is not going to happen. So he's still young, more experienced, hopefully, make him happy and can stay for longer. But it depends on the club, of course, it depends on him. How is uh, Leroy Zane? He's, uh, he was sick. Uh, was, he had fever the day of the game against Southampton and the day of the game in Southampton. And, uh, and now, yesterday, was in the training session. So it's okay, it's good. He's one of three players with Vincent Company and Fernandinho who are one booking away from a ban. Does that at all come into your thoughts ahead of the team selection for West Ham, considering it's the Manchester derby they would be banned for? We will see tomorrow. Tomorrow have training session, um, and we will see what they're going to do. Uh, we, of course, they can play, they can rest. Uh, we cannot forget that Vincent was three months, two months a half injured and played game and three days later game. And, and Fernandinho play a lot of minutes, but uh, we rested many times. The most important game is West Ham. What I am thinking about uh, United, if we are not able to win West Ham. So next one is the most important. Tomorrow we'll see the, the players. The bookies don't worry you then? No, of course I'm, I'm, of course I'm worried. Uh, I'm worried about the book, but uh, because of course United is an important game, but West Ham as well. So we're going to see the team, the preparation, because uh, Last game didn't play David Silva from the beginning. Maybe I rotated. I'm going to rotate it in Shakhtar and and the next game. We've got nine games in one month. There are lots of games and everybody has to play. Pep, just going back to Raheem, why were you so certain this season that he was going to have a major impact? Because <coughs> in August, a lot of people might have thought exchanging him for Alexis Sanchez was was a good thing to do. I think all the credit is deserved to him. So all the managers around the world want to help their players because if they play good, we survive. If they play bad, we will be sad. And we want to help them. And But all the credit is about Rahim, all of them. So we try to help him, and uh, but not just with Rahim, for the other ones, to be individual performance, to help the team, and to be collective good performance, to help individually. So. It's no secret about that. So when the people say in the beginning of the season, that is, of course. So uh, our football is 24 hours speaking about that. It's normal. So in now in the wind, in the winter, the transfer is going to happen again. But you, you must have believed in him, though, because it, if it was in your power to say, yes, you can go, and you chose not to do that. Yeah, of course we believe in him. But I believe for the players don't play regularly, like for example Bernardo or uh, or Gundogan is uh, for a long time injured, or <coughs> Danilo, for example. We believe in them, 100 percent. We believe in them. But of course we have to choose 11 players, and some players play more than the other ones. But we believe absolutely in them. And after that, we will see in winter and especially in summer, we're going to speak individually for them and say, "Are you happy? I want to stay. Are you going to accept again that situation? The play or maybe not play?" And after, fluently, we're going to decide what is the best for them, for the club, for everybody. Just on Fernandinho, I think he started every Premier League game as the holding midfielder. What are your other options for that position? Is Ilkay played a bit there last season before his injury? Is he, is he, is he still, can he still play in that position? Yeah, in that position, play Yaya today. Uh, Yaya can play there, of course, and Gundogan play. But last season, he played play more like attacking midfielder, more than a holding midfielder. But of course, he can play there. For the quality he has, yeah. Pep, when you see the 
improvement that you've made to, to Raheem, or the improvement Raheem's had since working on you? So it's a very short amount of time you've been together. Uh, are you confident that you can do that with, with any player? I mean, he looks a completely different player to what he looked like before. He always had potential. And does that help you when you go, when you go out and you speak to a player, a target that you want to bring to the club, when they see what you can do to someone? No, listen, b believe me. So I didn't discover Raheem. The player he is, I, I didn't discover him. For the quality to put the ball in the last action or dribbling like this is his talent. So he did it in Liverpool. In Liverpool, play, play, play amazing. That's why Manchester City pay a lot of money to, to take him for his age, for a minute. So all the credit is for him. But we try, is the same, for example, when, when we try to help one player, one player then play good. I, I don't feel guilty because he's not playing good. At the same time, I don't feel the responsibility to say the Rahim. We try to do our best, all the staff, to help them to understand the game, to understand for himself, for the group, what we're going to do. It's simple like that. Of course, we are so happy. I'm happy for him because he's a nice guy. He's, he's beloved in, in the locker room. Uh, uh, he's a guy who's more stable, uh, less in the social media, so he's more focused in, 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 in football, in private life, and, and, and that's good. So, but it's, believe me, it's again when I said your, your colleague. So, all we have done, like for example, Kevin in, in the season, or Fernandinho, or Otamendi, or uh, John Stone before injured, or all the players that play regularly play in top, top level, is absolutely their credit, is how good they are. I think you mentioned Raheem's social media a few times last season. You preferred he didn't, he was more focused on football. Did you, did you tell him? You know, come away from that sort of thing, you'll improve as a player. Have you said that to other players as well? Yeah, of course. They are free to do whatever he wants. But uh, sometimes they do that, and after that they have 20 million comments to criticize him, the picture or something like that. You can avoid it. So the people insult you, the people criticize you because you show a picture or show a snatch up or something like that. So you want to do it, do it. No problem. But uh, I don't know if you put a one child about your family, the people criticize your family because of how they dress or in which pool they were or in which beach they enjoying. So why? So stay for yourself, enjoy yourself with your family, with your friends. And nobody has to know what you do in your private life. That is my opinion. But of course they can do their free time, what they do, whatever you want. No, 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 no. It's not, no, no, no. We don't have absolutely anything about that. I said last season. It's just our advice like a club because we spoke about that like a club or like me personally. Has that, has that really impressed you with the social media with Sterling, that he's shown the maturity, that he's been able to just step away from it? They see it the last Look, six months or so. Listen, if the reason why I stay out of the social media score a lot of goals, I will say to all the players, out for the social media. It's not about that. So, but it's a question for him. We're going to make an interview to him. You can ask him if he decides to do it. I think before he was more active, and I think now it's more a bit passive, but uh, of course nothing changed about that. Can I just ask about the set piece, defending set pieces? Yep. You mentioned a couple of days ago that um, opposing teams are finding different ways of attacking you from corners and free kicks. Just wondering whether that was something that you'd look to work on in the next few weeks? No, just, just, uh, just uh, I think in two years we were together, we conceded not too many goals in the set pieces. I think it's a, it was one of the not the strongest points because our players are different type of players, more technical, smaller, or you know, something like that. The best way is to avoid of them, avoid the stupid throw-ins. Uh, we concede, for example, two corners when we can uh, we can avoid to, to to give to Southampton this this avoid. Another point, they have a Redmond and, and Bertrand. They are an amazing takers. And you see how tall they are, so that's happened. And they make a good movement, so they block. Um, uh, Uriel Romeo block our first player and attack behind for another one, and they make a, a good movement. So the opponents work very well about that, so they did it well, so we have to accept it. And that's why it's to avoid it as much as possible, because, for example, West Ham, our next two opponents in the Premier League, or United, for example, they are taller. And higher and, 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 and good takers. And of course, you have to try to avoid as much as possible. And when that's happened, defend like uh, we have defended that season. And focus and aggressive and attacking the ball and, and, and try to, to consider goal in that way. 
Okay, question in Spanish, please. Where are we taking questions? At the top. Ah, mister, eh, es el sorteo del Mundial ahora. Eh, ¿Qué le parece que un campeón del mundo como España, que le ha ganado al grupo a otro campeón del mundo como Italia, no sea cabeza de serie con este sistema del, no, no, del ranking FIFA? Y no tengo ni idea, no, para, no. para el Mundial, ¿quién, ¿a quién ves como candidato? ¿Quiénes son los equipos que cree que son candidatos? Uh, pues no, no tengo... La primera pregunta no tengo ni idea de la razón. No, no tengo ni idea. La segunda, pues los de siempre. Uh, España, Alemania, Brasil. Uh, me gustaría que ganara el Mundial gente que, que le tengo cariño. Me gustaría ganar España porque conozco a gente que, que, que estuvimos juntos. Me gustaría Alemania porque hay gente que estuvo allí. Me gustaría que fuera Argentina porque hay gente que tengo aquí y estuve aquí. Hay gente... Si alguien gana el Mundial, estoy feliz por, por ellos. Uh, Today is the, the World Cup. World Cup's uh, draw. First of all, I want to ask you, what do you think about the, the fact that uh, our World Cup winner like Spain is not uh, in the pot one today? Well, I don't know uh, about the reason. I can't answer mm -hmm. that. And the second one, which uh, teams uh, are favorite to win the, the next World Cup according to you? Well, I, I, I would say the, the usual ones, Spain, Germany, Brazil. To be honest, I'd like that uh, a team that... Uh, that wins a team that uh, I have people there that I have affection or I know people, for example, I have uh, people that work in Spain that I have affection so I would like them to win or Germany as well because I've been there. Also, I know people in, in the Argentinian national team. So uh, that and, would make me happy. And England as well. And England as well. <laughs> <laughs> I have many. <laughs> Pep, uh, in tu plano de carrera, tienes el sueño de comandar un, una selección no. en el Mundial? Sí. Sí. Me gustaría jugar un mundial, sí. ¿Alguna específicamente? Jugarlo, entrenarlo. O sea, de, ¿eh? ¿Alguna específicamente? No. Pero es un plano. Tú. Me gustaría. Pero me gustaría hacer muchas cosas que sé que no van a pasar. Uh, I want to ask you in, in your plans, in your career, would you dream to, to be a manager of a national team in a, in a World Cup? Well, yeah, that's something that I would like to, to leave that experience to become a manager in, the, in a World Cup eventually. But of course, I have many things that I want to do, and I don't know if that will happen or not. Okay, guys, we do an embargo, please, for Saturday 10